for our YouTube. All those on a lot here. Just showing off the new camera mounting. Turn its camera on so we can have the two cameras studying each other. Now that's as close to having the suspension bar horizontal as I was able to achieve. And it's not too bad, and it really doesn't matter. It really, truly doesn't matter, because this is all to be lifted by the bridle, and the bridle is to be lifted by the tow yoke on about a one metre square parafoil. It's a ram air parachute. If it was a normal kite, you'd be able to suspend a weight from the line of the kite because the kite would have a rigid airframe. However, from what I can remember, if you try and hang anything off the, the line of a ram air parachute, a single line, <coughs> that will pull on the gauze and collapse them and you'll basically shut the door at the front of the parachute you'll, you'll, you'll get a horseshoe instead of a flat mattress and you won't get very much air going in you won't get an air of foil you won't get much lift and the whole thing basically becomes a silly idea if on the other hand you have a tow yoke attached to the two end points of the trailing edge <coughs> it doesn't affect the dynamics of the bridle length going to the kite string, going to the gauze, which basically allow the thing to inflate itself. So it inflates all right, it forms the aerofoil all right, and then the extra weight on the tail basically raises the nose and generates more lift, and because the kite string is what deals with the drag and you've already got an inflated mattress, it doesn't matter within limits what you hang on the tail. If the if the wing can lift it, the tail can cope. And here we see how, as long as we've got a steady wind from a steady direction, the wind is going to set the direction on the compass rose as to where the stick points at the horizon. The kite is going to stream downwind, so that should stay fairly constant unlike here in the clearing where we've got all the turbulence in the world coming off trees whatnot. But here's one of the things, instead of looking at the horizon, you can look down and take selfies of yourself on the ground in front of it. If you think there's something interesting going on downwind, you can drift a kite vertically over the top and have a real good look. If you can't get downwind of something interesting, which you might want to look at like that, it's entirely possible. Stick your camera up in the sky and look back over your tail. Even if you wanted to. through the tail. Through the tail a little way. And we'll see what that looks like on the developed film, video, whatever you call it these days. So kind of within the limits of the techno lo 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 I think this is going to work. Maybe, perhaps, sort of. I could be wrong. I don't know. 
here's one thing. Here's a bit of a bit of a sadness. You got to pull the thing out in order to change the zoom lens. You can pause it and you can unpause it. Like so, while it's in its cradle. But to change the magnification factor on the lens, yeah. At the moment, I'm recording telephoto 5 power sweep. Two telephoto phone cameras staring at each other. One of them operated by the wind. The Aeolian camera gimbal, perhaps. Sounds like an interesting name for it, eh? Kind of a pity that I'm backlit the way I am, but such is life. And once again... You can take telephoto pictures below the horizon. And I'm fairly certain that all this should work. I may be wrong, I don't know. Time will tell, as they say. And, of course, by the powers of negative sympathetic magic, for weeks we've had windy weather, therefore one has become inspired to cobble up a kite mount for the camera, thus and because, having spent a couple of days on it, now, come testing day, we've got dead calm with gusts from each any any direction all over the place because they're all ground level responses to thermal bubbles heating up and breaking off and going up into the sky. So no prevailing wind and I can't do any actual kite tests on this until we get a prevailing wind. But well yeah. I think this may happen. Actually turn into a fairly good idea. Because I'm not certain how much of that pendulum-type porpoising we're going to actually get when the suspension point is being damped by the bagginess of a parachute on the other end of the tow bridle. And hopefully there's going to be sufficient wind to be acting on that little yellow box canard and the big aluminium annular tail. So it... It is hoped that this will be stable enough to get watchable video. Interesting video. It hasn't got to be Mona Lisa quality high definition. I just want to see if it's possible to get aerial video footage with a kite and no drones involved. And therefore, maybe, perhaps, nobody can stop you from doing it. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, yes. Yeah. 
in principle, it should be a good idea. In practice, it looks kind of weird. But it seems to be doing its thing. It looks as if it might be right. And if it looks right, it is right. And the only grave difficulty in design lies in knowing what looks right. Once you know what looks right, everything else gets to be pretty easy. So they say. Anyway, warbles on a lot to YouTube.